It has come to our notice that some students are not observing the university dress code. What are those attires? That we put on and then all of a sudden the atmosphere is not conducive for studies. <laughs> Ladies, please sit down on the mat. I'm about to tell you what an inappropriate skin tight, skin tight trousers. But we can wear skin tight jeans. <laughs> oh, this is even more than coursework. This is even harder than the examinations that they will be giving at the end. You have made life hard. Instead of thinking about reading, now I think what all the brain on dress code, what we should pack, what we should not pack. Eh? Now I'm going to dress. I'm 40 years. I'm coming to university. I come in my transparent dress. Just leave me alone. By that time, it's too late for you to teach me how to not put on a transparent dress. But you will chase me. I will not. <laughs> I can imagine chasing a 40 year old to go back because they are wearing what they are wearing, like at 40 years. Yeah? <laughs> sagging trousers. Okay, don't wear sagging trousers, for this will not allow you to enter a direct university in Kenya. If someone is seeing here your strip, your bra, your bra strip, too much problem, the head will not work. The environment will not be good. The men are showing the if the men are showing the chest, too much problem in the whole university. <laughs> hi, 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 guys! Hi, hi, hi! Hi, guys! Welcome to the channel. My name is Price, and I'm glad to be back in 2023. Happy New Year! We are still in January. It's 20. I don't know the date. I hope it's like 23rd or 22nd. Yeah, around there. It's a Tuesday. Uh, yeah, January 2023. Happy New Year. Happy 23. I hope you are doing great. So we are going to school. Universities are opening. So guys, if we... I have here a letter from a certain university which was written. And uh, as you can see, according to the thumbnail and to the heading, we will get into it. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in this, ja in this video today. If you like my kind of content, if you like my YouTube channel, if you like me, please kindly subscribe and turn on that bell so that you get to know any time that I'll be uploading. This is 2023. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Bangers after bangers every day. So, I have been uploading, yeah, but many of them are lives. Please go ahead there and watch. They are about countries, about situations, about places. So, please hit the answer and watch them. They are very nice videos. So, guys today i have this letter it's from the university of El eldoret in kenya this letter i uh, somehow touched me because even where i started we used to have such rules and you know when because now i finished school so when i landed on this letter it was really so fun i was like oh i think this is worth talking about so this is from the university of El eldoret Office of the Vice Chancellor and it's to all students. All students. It was written on January 19, 2023, just a few days ago, and I think they just opened the university. And this was on January 19, 2023. So, what is this letter about? Do you no want to know what this letter is about written to the university students? Please don't block out of this video. Make sure you watch this video after the end because it's going to be so interesting. So, I'm not going to be reading everything because some are not interested in them. Maybe some are like, like repetitions. So, I'm just going to be picking out a few points. One, okay, they were writing, it has come to our notice that some students are not observing the university dress code. I, I think like by the time you reach university, you are a mature person. You know how to dress? You mean you can still tell a university student how to dress? Let me come. You mean we can still tell university students like how to dress? By the time you go to university, we are 17, 18, 19, 20. Even like other people who have children, university has no age. They care for 40 years, 30 years, 50 years, 70 years, people are at university. So why are they telling them how to dress? They don't know how to dress. What's about, what's this dress code? What are they telling them to put on? What are they telling them not to put on? 
It has come to our notice that some students are not observing the university dress code. What's that dress code? I don't get it. So let's go ahead. You want to know that dress code? Don't think it comes to this video and make sure you watch up to the end. Aha. Uh -huh. All students are expected to dress in a simple. It should be simple. Which dress code is not simple? What's the definition of simple? If I put on my t-shirt and trouser, will that be simple or no? How do I know that it is a simple dress code or not? Anyway, they are telling us that all students are expected to dress in a simple, not only simple, decent, modest. What are the definitions of those words? And appropriate attire that facilitates an atmosphere, that facilitates a conducive atmosphere for studies. Simple, modest, decent, and it should facilitate a what? <laughs> a good atmosphere for studies. <laughs> you mean some students were putting one in a way that the atmosphere is now not conducive for studies? Anyway, we are about to know what those attires that are not good, that those attires that will come and the whole environment is not conducive. What are those attires? That we put on and then all of a sudden the atmosphere is not conducive for studies. Mm -hmm. So, the following is inappropriate. I wish they gave us the appropriate so that we know what we are going to, you know, what we are supposed to be wearing. But anyway, in the letter we are given the inappropriate. So you are going to be avoiding these inappropriate attires. Wow, this is interesting. So I'm going to begin with ladies. I have five, like I just I got out the five, and for men only three. Ladies were like so many detailed. Ladies for men they were just simple, brief, and you know precise. So ladies, please sit down on the mat. I'm about to tell you what an in <laughs> inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> dress code is if you are you know you will go with at campus with a bag and in her heels and then be like oh i don't know what you mean please come here sit down i have to tell you and you got to listen what inappropriate is because some people already have been chased there is police on the university all around if you come in those attires that i'm going to be reading they will be chasing you and already the university is open and they're already chasing police is already deployed at the university. So this is not a joke. So ladies, number one, mini skirts. What is a mini skirt? Slightly above the knee? Is that a mini skirt? What is a mini skirt? Slightly below the knees, is that a mini skirt? What is a mini skirt? I don't know what a mini skirt is. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what? They should have told us the skirt that they want us to wear. They should have said, come with a skirt, which should reach, which is reaching on the ankles. But if you say avoid them, what is a mini skirt? Am I not an adult? I graduated, but when you say don't wear a mini skirt, if you come in a mini skirt with Chelsea, unless you told people that come in a long, skirt that is sweeping the ground or a skirt that is uh, reaching on the ankles because a person will come with her nice skirt and she will tell you this is not a mini skirt. Anyway, police is at the, <laughs> at the gate. <laughs> Number two, skin tight trousers. Skin tight trousers. I don't know how a person for example, what are trousers? Are trousers same as jeans? Because I don't know how a person can wear like a jean which is not tight. The skin has to be tight, like how do you wear a uh, jean that is not tight? Trousers. Skin tight, skin tight trousers. But we can wear skin tight jeans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is even more than coursework. This is even harder than the examinations that they will be giving at the end. So, skin tight trousers. Skin tight trousers. I don't know what skin tight trousers is. A skin a skin tight trousers. A trousers same like jeans because we wear tight jeans. We don't wear loose jeans. There is no way we are wearing loose jeans. Are you also including that skin tight jeans? 
Oh my goodness! Instead of instead now we have made life hard. Instead of thinking about reading, now I think when all the brain on dress code, what we should pack, what we should not pack. Eh? Number three, ripped jeans. Yeah, you know those ripped jeans which have holes. But that's like putting so much emphasis on like unnecessary things. By the time people go to university, they are mature enough. If, if you're third and you decide to come in a miniskirt, like leave such a person alone. Those are adults. So ripped jeans also are not allowed. Tra- number four, transparent dresses. If you wear a transparent dress. Anyway, I think it's going to be hard dealing with adults. Tell ad- adults what to dress, what not to dress. This is like more re- this is very very hard i pity those policemen because you will be having cases after cases like everybody who will be coming if they are not wearing a mini skirt because we don't know what a mini skirt is maybe they will be wearing tight jeans because we don't know if you said tight trousers the trousers are same as me yeah, i don't even know whether the same as jeans then some ripped jeans can be ripped in a decent way like oh this is really too hard Transparent dress, I'm 40 years, I'm coming to university, I come in my transparent dress, just leave me alone. By that time, it's too late for you to teach me how to not put on a transparent dress, but you would chase me. I will not. <laughs> I can imagine chasing a 40 year old to go back because they are wearing what they are wearing, like at 40 years, yeah? 30 years, 22 years, and then they have to teach you don't wear this, wear that. Like, university students have to wear what they have to wear. I, I don't know what I manage. I need, to, I need to watch, like, the next letter when you are saying that you managed. Anyway, number five. Atay is showing brass strips. Brass strips, brass are these ones? Brass strips. But some blouses can show brass strips and they're not. Huh? Ah, ah. Sleeveless t-shirts. You have to wear a t-shirt like this one. You don't have to wear like the sleeveless like here. But we wear them. Oh, police. You have too much work to do because if you like, you have 50% of the students who are like me. Hey. Ah, I don't know. You might chase us in the first week, but second week you'll give up. Jay, now. And me, I'm just doing a video. Don't follow my advice. Eh? If you, yeah, use your head because at 40 years you're already old. So now I'm going to the gentleman. This is they said gentlemen. They didn't say men, males. They said gentlemen. Only three. Only this one is very simple. Three. Let us see. Are men going to follow? Is the attire for men like obvious? Like we won't be arguing like how we're like we are confused. We don't know about a mini skirt, then we don't know about tight jeans and tight trousers. What do you mean? Then they're showing the, tr- the straps, bra straps. Like it can show. It's okay. Like yeah. By the time you go to university, you're mature enough to know that you were seated with people and you know what brought you to university and you, you are ready to study and pass your exams. You didn't go to school to see up addressing. Hey, you said that some others can disorganize the environment and then it won't be conducive. Okay. <laughs> it won't be confusing. Either some people will fail because of the others of some people. Okay. So now this is for the gentlemen, three of them. If you like my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up on this video, please. And don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. If you're watching uh, up to this point, please subscribe now, 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 before I go to the gentleman. Subscribe. Are you done subscribing? Are you done? Please do. I'm singing. Do, do, do. <laughs> gentlemen, number one. Only three. Yeah, we almost come to the end of this video. Number one, sagging trousers. Sagging. But if I come with my sagging trousers, I would pass at the gate. If you stop me, if they are sagging, I'll pull them. What are sagging trousers? Like sagging. This one's which are almost falling. <laughs> ah, sagging trousers. Okay, don't wear sagging trousers. Police will not allow you to enter a direct university in Kenya. Number two, clothes revealing the chest. Don't go showing your chest. Don't go showing your chest. Okay. Number three, ripped jeans, like for the girls also. This is for both. 
ripped jeans for both girls and men and gentlemen. So that is it from the University of Alaska, from the administration of the university in Kenya, Eldoret University. We have a dress code. We have been told that in the previous years the environment has not been conducive for senior study because of people's dress code. If someone is seeing here your strip, your bra, your bra strip, too much problem, the head will not work. The environment will not be conducive. If you come in a, a, a what? Ripped jeans, the environment will not be favorable. If if the men are showing the if the men are showing the chest, too much problem in the whole university. <laughs> If you come in a mini skirt in a cropped top, you know cropped tops. These I think these cropped tops, the ones which are showing the umbrella code, too much pollution in the whole university. The environment mix, mix, mix. So as a university, they came up with the letter and they wrote you all and they put police and we are waiting for you. Already some have been checked because the university already opened. So guys, <coughs> ah. So that is it from me today. Thank you so much. This was really fun. Yeah, you are mature. By the time you go to university, you're a mature person. What is good for you to wear? Is it okay for you to wear a transparent dress? You want to show us your stomach? You want to show us your legs that your mama gave? You want to show us? Like at that stage, you are old, please. And anything that you will wear. Make sure you're not polluting the environment for other people to concentrate on their studies. That is all that the university was from. Yeah, thank you so much. And bye-bye.